Hi everybody. So, it's been very, very windy these past couple of days. Today, not so much so. It's kind of rainy today, but it made me think about the wind. And what is the wind? Can you see the wind? Can you make the wind? These are questions that I thought about yesterday. And I also thought about things that can help us learn more about what the wind is. So I will be posting stories. Um, there is someone named Katie and she has a classroom and you can watch it on your iPad or your TV. And she talks about um, what the wind is and she does some really cool things. So I'll share that with your families as well. There's also someone who does yoga and she will teach us how to do wind yoga. And I have some activities to share. So first thing is maybe you might wanna go outside and you might wanna find the wind. What does the wind look like? What does it feel like? How do you know it's windy? How do you know it's not? So do some observations and maybe you can write it down in your journal. Um, today's a hot day, so when there's no wind, we can make wind. Well, how can we make wind? We can make a fan. So I have some paper and I have scissors. And I'm gonna draw a shape on here. And if you notice, this is a rectangle folded. And if I open it up, it's a giant rectangle. If I close it up, it's a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna think about what kind of fan I'd like to make. I think I will make a fan that is kind of an oval shape. So I use my pen to draw where I want to cut and follow the line and I cut it out. And it's a little hard because this paper is thick. You may ask your family members to help you if you have thick paper. And I think the thicker the paper is, the more wind it'll make. I'm not sure, but you may want to test that out. And what I can do is I can decorate it, I can put stickers on it, or I can paint it, or I can color it. And I can get a chopstick or a straw. And I can get some glue. And I can open it up and glue it down and maybe tape it down to make it more secure and I have a fan perfect for today so that's one activity you may want to try making at home now another thing I have is something called a wind sock and it's kind of like a kite and I've got a big piece of construction paper and I can decorate it I can color it um, I can do whatever I want and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape some ribbon on the bottom. So I have red and I have blue and I have white. And those are the colors of our American flag. And I am going to then roll it up. So what shape do we have now? Yep, a circle or a cylinder and I can tape it or glue it together. And then it looks like this. And at the top, I can put some tape here to make it stronger or another word for that is reinforce. I wanna reinforce this. And I don't have a hole puncher, I have that at school. So I'm gonna just make a snip in there and another one here on top of the tape. I'm gonna put it in a little more on the inside. Okay, so I made some slits in there and I will get some string or yarn and I will put it in here and tie it up. Okay. 
And while I'm doing this, I want you to think about, is the wind a good thing? Is it is a bad thing? What do you think about the wind? Sometimes the wind can be very strong and it can cause damage. But if there's no wind, it's very, very hot. I like the wind. All right, find the slits, stick my ribbon in, tie it up. And I made a wind sock. Tie it. Uh, and I can go outside and I can fly it and run with it. I can hang it up and I can watch it fly in the wind. So that's something else you can do. I also have an experiment that you can try using a straw. And did you know that we can make wind? We can do it by moving air. And one of the ways we can do it is by blowing. So I have a straw and I have some things in here. I have an egg. I have, remember this? I have a small egg. I have a ball and some foam and a penny. So I'm gonna put this on the table and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see, out of all these things here, which one do you think will be the one that I can blow with my straw and will go the farthest which one will not go hmm. think about it make some predictions and maybe you can test it out if you have a straw and some materials and you can use some other things and I'm gonna test later on to see which one will go the farthest if I blow it on the table so those are some things that you can do to learn more about the wind um, and try some. Have fun. Bye.